This is a brief video just to demonstrate BiPAP use for nurses on uh, medical floors in the hospital here. Uh, we're going to start out uh, just by turning the machine on. Uh, when the machine is turned on, whatever settings were in it previously are saved. So if this was on your patient, you can feel comfortable just turning it on and putting it on. We turned it on, it's ready to be placed on the patient. So go ahead, Timmy. And uh, this patient knows how to put the mask on because she has experience with it. Good. <laughs> I will help you out. Okay. And then, uh, so these clips just clip on right there. Uh, once it's on, we want to assure that we've got a good leak happening. Currently, uh, this shows a leak of four or two. We want that to be between 10 and 60. Um, now we're showing 10 and eight. Uh, when it's too low, that indicates that the mask may be too tight and we're at a risk for a pressure injury. So what we can do is just loosen the mask up a little bit. And we'll loosen it up. And we're seeing a leak above 10, so we can feel pretty comfortable with that. Uh, that number will fluctuate, but we seem to have a good fit. If the leak is too much, you can run your hand along the mask like this, feel for a leak, and then tighten it up either here, if it's up here, we can move this back and forth by pressing this button. Some things to look at on the BiPAP. Um, we pointed out the leak. We have the FiO2 right here. If you're monitoring the saturations and they become low or too high, you can press this, adjust up or down, and then accept to change the FiO2. If your patient needs to come off for a short amount of time for like pills or a drink of water, we can put it in standby to do that. We'll press the standby first, and then we can take the mask off. To do that, we can unclip it. Sorry, Kenny. And then you can flip it up, turn it around, and it should stay on the patient's head relatively easy if it's just for a short amount of time. And then you can do that, whatever you need to do, and then put it back on. So we'll bring it back down. And should be able to clip it on easy enough. The machine should start working again. Uh, it comes out of standby mode when it's connected. Uh, we are doing a thing where we rotate masks every four hours. Um, with that, we'll change the mask out right now. So we'll put it in standby mode and take this mask off. We can just take the whole thing off. So nursing isn't responsible for doing this, but you should be aware that of the other mask because this one fits underneath the nose. You can maybe can, can demonstrate just how it fits. So it goes under the nose like that, so nothing is on top of the nose. It's just underneath the nose. You can uh, take this, I can have this for a moment. You can see there's a little piece there. That goes under the nose, so the nose sits on top of all of this. So I'm gonna put this in here. And we can try that on. feel under your nose? Yeah. Yep. Okay. And so that's the end of the nose one. You'll see that on the floors uh, just to be aware of it and how it works. Uh, we got the leak a little too low on this. Uh, but just, just to wrap this video up, the last thing of course is if you have this have a patient on a BiPAP, you eventually are going to have to take them off the BiPAP. And like for the day or for a longer period of time, uh, when it's time for that, you can just take the mask off. So go ahead and take the mask off here. And then press the power button. And then as one more uh, step, it says ventilator shut down, press that, and we're good to go. And hopefully that uh, gets you through the use of your bypass. Good.